The one characteristic that undeniably differentiates mankind from any other species living on planet Earth today is our disposition to not only adapt to our environment, but also adapt our environment to us. The capacity of man or anthropos to do this at scale has grown so significant over the ages that many refer to the era we are currently living in as the Anthropocene. What makes this novel era of our planetary evolution so significant is the emergence of an easily overlooked and underappreciated duality. Where there used to be only one type of system on this planet, a novel type has entered the scene through us. The original type is organic and, when left to its own devices, grows and evolves from within. Whereas the novel type is mechanic and decays and vanishes when not constantly maintained from without. Let us take a moment to have a closer look at this duality so we can develop some essential intuitions around this most important distinction rooted in a formal understanding of their properties. For this, let's refer to them as complicated versus complex, respectively. Any system can be classified unambiguously as a complicated system by examining it for the property of composability inherent to the complicated domain. That is, any complicated system can, in principle, be disassembled into its constituent parts and reassembled without permanently altering its properties. As such, complicated systems can be meaningfully understood as the sum of their parts. This also means any such system can be dealt with in a reductionist manner. By analyzing and mapping its constituent parts as well as their interactions, one can gradually build up a meaningful understanding of the entire system. Complex systems, on the other hand, emerge from a relational field. As such, they cannot be taken apart and put together again without permanent damage, since this action would constitute a disruption of the relational field. Therefore, a complex system is so much more than the sum of its parts. It is the sum of the parts plus all the countless properties of the relational field from which they emerged that fundamentally exceed a reductionist understanding. Another helpful lens through which we can differentiate these two types of systems is the concept of the phase space. A phase space is a mathematical space that has as many dimensions as the system it is describing has effective degrees of freedom. Any point in the phase space corresponds to a unique state of the system. The phase space of a complicated system is finite, bounded and static. The simpler the system, the smaller or lower dimensional its phase space. The more complicated the system, the larger or higher dimensional its phase space. A tic-tac-toe game, for example, has a relatively small phase space, as there are a quite limited amount of possible states the game can occupy at any moment. A Boeing 747, on the other hand, is many orders of magnitude more complicated and consequently has a dramatically larger phase space. The phase space of a complex system is much more elusive and harder to map as the degrees of freedom of the relational field are less well defined and evade reductionist analysis. As such, it is fundamentally infinite, unbounded and evolving. Through the phenomena of emergence, the potential of the system is constantly growing and changing, as is inherent to any living system. What is crucial to understand about the complicated domain is that its existence is not fundamental to the cosmos, but rather a product of the human psyche. Poetically, we could say any complicated system is preceded by a thought in the mind of man, while any complex system is preceded by a thought in the mind of God. A circuit board, for example, starts from an abstract model 
that is then instantiated or imprinted on reality through engineering. Because of this, complicated systems can only ever exist as an extension of a complex system. Complicated supply chains, for example, are fundamentally developed, maintained and operated by complex human collectors. In this sense, these two domains are fundamentally asymmetric. The complex can exist without the complicated, but the complicated is predicated on the complex. Thus mankind is placed at the very axis of creation, acting as the link between these two complementary realms of the complicated and the complex.